Sarah Badwe here from Horse Racing Nation with another weekly episode of the Outrun the Odds video segment where I talk about horses that I think have a chance to win or hit the board at a bit of a price. And I did take a little bit of a break for the Breeders' Cup since I felt as though there was plenty of video content with me in it and discussing all 14 of those Breeders' Cup races with guest handicappers. And thank you for those of you that tuned in and commented on those videos. And thank you to those of you that will be watching this one. And thank you in advance for liking subscribing to the Horse Racing Nation YouTube channel and turning those notifications on so you don't miss any of our handicapping video content. And though it's no Breeders' Cup, we do have the Claiming Crown coming up at Church Churchill Downs on Saturday, and there's some chances for some prices to shake things up a little bit in some of those races. And the first race that I want to talk about is actually the second race on the card before we get into those races for those hard-knocking claiming horses. And there's a very heavy favorite that I'm not really trying to beat in there in the number six, Strobe, who looks like a very promising horse for the Brad Cox Barn and Godolphin, though I do think we can find somebody underneath to make this race worth playing. And I think that horse might be the number number two, Steinbeck, who is 12 to 1 on the morning line. Now, last time out, Steinbeck did make his stakes debut in the grade three bold ruler at Belmont at the Big A. He was the number six horse in that spot. And obviously the betting public felt as though he was overmatched, which was reflected in his 41 to 1 odds. And he was. He was in chase mode the whole way against much better horses, just kind of ran evenly. No real flashy move, no significant impact, but again, facing much, much tougher company. Now, two races ago at Keeneland was the furthest he'd ever gone in his 15 race career. And after breaking from post 16 and setting the pace at 51 to 1, it was pretty clear after three quarters of a mile why he had been sprinting as he pretty much just evaporated away and ended up finishing last in that field. But if we go to three races back, he did upset a short allowance field as the longest shot in that field, going the six for a long distance, which is what we'll be running today. Setting the pace as the number three horse in here, he was able to just keep on rolling and kind of unchallenged early. I think for him, sprinting clearly suits him, and perhaps he gets loose on the lead and hits the exacta or try at a price, although Strobe certainly seems like the best horse in this race. Moving on to race six for those claiming horses that have started for an $8,000 tag or less, I'm looking to the number seven super catch who is 10 to one on the morning line. First time in the mic maker barn for this horse, he'll get Tyler Gaffleone riding. And although he really did no running last time out in the mud at Delaware or on the turf two back, Three starts ago, he was in a very short field in the slop at Penn National, breaking from post four, and was very content to sit off the pace setters, getting a very nice stalking trip to win as the heavy favorite in that spot. This is a horse that's been ultra consistent over 47 career starts, 15 wins, 10 seconds, and I do like that he won't need the lead since I think those three inside horses could square off early. He has won here at Churchill Downs before and multiple times at this distance, so why not with an enticing price on a horse that does always seem to show up? So the two horses that I'm interested in this week to outrun the odds are the number two Steinbeck in race number two and the number seven Super Catch in race number six. Good luck this weekend.